Terre Haute, Indiana recently received state designation as a cultural arts district. Just three blocks from downtown is Rives, a long-established neighborhood now facing significant economic, social, and health challenges. Hertz Rose Park lies at its center, yet suffers from disinvestment and disuse. Unlike most of Terre Haute's parks, Rives' two-square-block park is surrounded by homes and apartments and is adjacent to a recently renovated elementary school, which serves the city's largest at-risk population of children. As the heart of Rives, Hertz Rose Park is well-positioned to serve as a focal point for neighborhood revitalization efforts aimed at promoting health and well-being, economic development, and personal growth. In 2018, artist Matthew Mazzotta came to Terre Haute through a National Endowment for the Arts Artworks grant generated by Indiana State University and Art Spaces, two of the many partners in revitalization efforts in the Rives neighborhood. Matthew met with stakeholders interested in revitalization in Rives and held his signature outdoor living room to engage with residents, learning of their fond memories, needs, hopes, and desires for Rives, and in particular for Hertz Rose Park. He then conceptualized a public art project that would bring back the town center feeling the neighborhood has lost in recent decades. Businesses have severely declined, the housing stock has aged, physical and mental health issues have risen, and little investment has addressed those issues. Residents want to interact, to share, to plan, to dream, and to reconnect with their city and the neighborhood. The proposed project, called Neighbors, includes two house-like structures with permanent seating for year-round use. The structures hold a surprise, though. They can transform into vari a variety of orientations, allowing for creative programming to address community-identified needs. For example, this city streetscape opens eight storefronts that can be programmed for health education events, activities aimed at teaching job skills or recruitment, opportunities to build relationships with law enforcement in a non-emergency situation, and many other options. Other orientations will allow for different activities, including theatrical productions, music, movies, or a big town square. Many partners have committed to bringing neighbors to fruition, including the mayor's office, Parks and Recreation, who will own the completed project, Indiana State University, Rose Holman Institute of Technology, Art Spaces, and Vectron, among others. By intentionally integrating art and creativity into programming desired by residents, neighbors can serve as a catalyst for change so badly needed in this resource-challenged, nearly downtown neighborhood.